on Thursday, 30th of October, 2014, a channel by the name of Secret Bracelet uploaded a video titled The Secret Bracelet Concept Video. This video demonstrated a person using what seemed to be a fully functioning Android-like phone features from a bracelet projector. Keep in mind this was 2014, the year where the iPhone 6 and the Samsung Galaxy S5 were released. To say this technology was ahead of its time is an understatement. Within the description it stated, With the secret bracelet, you can make your skin your new touchscreen, read your mails, play your favorite games, answer your calls, check the weather, find your way. Do whatever you want on your arm. The video also showed the bracelet being used underwater without a problem with such amazing potential and a bright future for the company. Was it legitimate? What happened to the secret bracelet? Was it a scam all along? And most importantly, where is the company now? Hey guys, welcome back. It's Fury, and today we're doing something different to say the least. Uh, today we'll be talking about the secret bracelet as mentioned earlier. Uh, in my opinion, this was one of the greatest, if not the greatest scam in the last 10 years. With such high promises such as works on every skin color, works with iPhone and Android. And lastly but not least, phone screen mirroring. The hype for this product was insane. It was all over social media. The news. Now it's a bracelet that turns your arm into a touch screen tag. Finally, forget carrying a phone. Now all you need is your skin. What? A device called Secrets Bra Your skin color could soon be your phone's newest accessory. The creators of Secret claim their device can transform your forearm into a touch screen. And even my friends were talking about it. But how did we get here? Who is the Secret Bracelet and how was it created? The Secret Bracelet Company was co-founded by Guillaume Pommier and his father Pascal Pommier. Prior to creating Secret Bracelet, Pascal, the father, created an app called Secret. His son, Guillaume, created a campaign on Indiegogo called the Secret Messaging App, which required $50,000. Uh, Indiegogo being a crowdfunding website like Kickstarter or Patreon, the son managed to receive $15 from one anonymous backer before he decided to close down the campaign and to use the name Secret for his futuristic bracelet. And to those of you who are interested, the Secret messaging app is still available to download on Android. If you have tried it out, I doubt it. Let me know how, how it is, and if you are going to try it out, I sincerely hope you stay away from it. Nevertheless, Guillaume Premier decided to create another campaign on Indiegogo called Secret Bracelet, which required $500,000. The secret bracelet performed better than his earlier campaign, which is not saying much, but he raised $1,357 or 0 0.0027 of the total goal required. Guillaume then closed the campaign and masked the campaign with the title, Campaign Closed, and a Titanic in 5 seconds video, but if we scroll down to the comments section, we can see that this in fact was the secret bracelet team as they stated multiple times in the post. If I was a backer of this company in 2014, 2015, I would have been very cautious and shocked by these shady actions. Just to put things into perspective, these people started a crowdfunding campaign, raised the money, closed the campaign, and kept the money without any refund. But the merely $1,357 was just the beginning. The question still remains, why did they close the campaign? Why did they mask the campaign with something so unrelated? Well, companies like Indiegogo, Kickstarter, or Patreon protect donors by requiring the creator of the campaign to meet the benchmark that the creator set out for themselves and require them to deliver the appropriate reward in a timely fashion. However, the co-creators of the company, the father and the son, struggled to meet benchmark and deliver on the promises from the beginning. They decided to switch to their own website where they accept donations by PayPal and later on with Stripe. Within less than two years, the company did not achieve the 100% goal but surpassed it to reach 120% of the 500,000 goal which would amount to 
$600,000. By using their own website, they did not have to follow the rules and consumer protection laws set out by the crowdfunding websites. On top of that, they made multiple false claims to urge the members of the public to donate and contribute to the quote unquote project. And to make matters worse, the website had a strict no refund policy, which prevented people from losing their money and get their money back if anything went wrong. Now, does that sound like a legitimate company to you? The secret company claimed they were released the secret bracelet by 2016, which then was delayed until 2017, and finally completely deleted the completion date. It's been five years since the deadline. Where are the bracelets, you might ask? Nowhere. It's fake. It's a scam to steal money. It's all been a mirage all along. 99% of people did not receive anything. And to those who did receive something, they got a drum roll, please. A knockoff Fitbit. You heard me correct. A knockoff Fitbit. What did he say? From the beginning, this product was doomed to fail. Not only was the technology ahead of its time, it was quite frankly impossible from a scientific standpoint. Not only is it impossible to project su such high quality projection from a projector so small, it would simply not look the same way they demonstrated in the video. There is a reason your movie theater projectors project the movie in a dark room on a bright neutral projection screen. All of that aside, where is the son? Where is the father? Where is the company? Their last blog post, which was update, was in 2018 on their website, which stated they'll post something when they have the circuit bracelet prototype. Prototype. Since then, the website has been pulled from the internet, and if you try to visit the website today, it will say the website cannot be reached. However, the father Pascal works at a company in France called, sorry if I butcher that again, Figaro Classifieds. Figaro states in its Facebook description as a leader in the online classified ad market. Figaro Classified is a major digital player in France, generating 70 million euros in sales and 9 million unique visitors to all of its sites thanks to its 400 employees so to keep it blunt an advertisement company pascal works as a full-time technical lead the son guillaume works as a full-time sales manager for a company called federation entertainment a company in paris that states in its linkedin description as a creator producer and distributor of global high quality original television program in drama kids and family and with that we conclude our story on the biggest internet scam in the last 10 years in my opinion uh personal thoughts on the on the situation the company did not just take five hundred thousand dollars but stole and scammed hundreds if not thousands of hard-working people and promise them something that they know they cannot deliver. Rather than admitting the truth and coming clean by refunding everyone the money, they decided to delete everything and try to hide their tracks. I just don't understand what goes through people's heads. In an interview, this son, Guillaume, claimed that he received an email from a mother stating she has an autistic child, and the only way she can commun communicate with him was through a phone. And the secret bracelet would help out a lot if the son can use it during showers. That way the son and the mother can have communication even if her son is in the shower. Knowing he received an email like that, knowing there are some people who could really benefit from the product, they still decided to scam people and steal the money. If, if this is not the definition of a thief and a cold hearted person, I genuinely do not know what is. All right, guys, thank you for checking out the video. I would really appreciate a comment telling me if you've seen the ads for the bracelet before. All right, peace.